This checkpoint leads to Transnistria. The pro-Russian Moldovan region unilaterally declared its independence in 1991. Now its authorities are asking Russia and the United Nations for economic protection. They accuse Moldova of economic pressure after the introduction of a new customs tax. Our authorities are saying that Moldova doesn't compromise, that it is blocking our trucks and not letting them pass. It's what's happening, and our economy is suffering a lot because of it. Residents from Transnistria regularly come to Varnica for medical care or groceries. After the invasion of Ukraine, some fear for the future of their region. The situation isn't very good in Transnistria. The region is blocked on both sides, Moldova on one side and Ukraine on the other. If Transnistria unites with Russia, the consequences will be bad for Transnistria. Russian troops are present in Transnistria as part of a peacekeeping mission following a conflict in 1992 between the separatist region and Moldova. Ever since, Transnistrians have been living in peace with their neighbors. We are not scared. Everything is good here. There is nothing to say. We have brothers there. We have brothers and cousins here as well. Moldovan authorities believe Tiraspol's accusations are the result of Russian propaganda. The government says there is no immediate security threat in Transnistria. There are 1,800 soldiers led by Russia. There is the so-called Transnistrian army. There are militias and an impressive ammunition stock in Kobasna. We can't say we are fully out of danger. But the situation is not spectacular nor extremely dangerous. But in any case, we have to take into account all the potential dangers coming from this region. Chisinau now wants to reintegrate Transnistria into the country's economy. In December, Moldova started negotiations to join the European Union.